एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन फीस बी ऑफ ऑन यू ऑल इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइज हाउ टू क्रोश दिस बीनी इट्स वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी टू मेक एंड इवन इफ यू नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ द क्रोशे लाइक डबल क्रोशे डबल क्रोशे क्लस्टर्स एंड बीट स्टिच यू कैन मेक इट वेरी ईजीली एंड देर इज नथिंग कम्प्लीकेटेड पैटर्न और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट आई हैव ट्राइड टू क्रिएट अ पम्पम एंड अटैच इट ऑन द टॉप As I always say in my videos, I'm not very good at making pom pom, but still I'm not giving up. I'm trying my level best to create the as better as I can be at uh, making pom pom. This is how it looks with the pom pom, and this is how it looks without the pom pom. I did not attach any pom pom on this one because I wanted it to. Uh, uh look simple and uh, i just wanted to show you guys how does it look from the top this is how it looks the yarn i used is this one it's a turkish yarn i don't know uh uh how to pronounce it it just says brow and then something in turkish and uh, this is 100 gram of the yarn and into this 100 gram of the yarn there is if i can focus there is 250 meters of the yarn into 100 gram of the yarn and i used four and i used my all time favorite <laughs> crochet hook which is 4 mm crochet hook and now i will show you guys the length and the width of the beanies um just to, so that you guys have some ideas that how long and wide it is going to be when it's done so width of the beanie is approximately <clears throat> so width of the beanie is approximately 9 inches a little bit more than 9 inches and uh length of the beanie is approximately 8 inches uh i will once again i will say that i will try my level best to explain each and everything with details if still if there is something confusing or something that you guys did not understand please comment below and i will try my level best to explain each and everything with details because uh maybe sometimes i'm teaching when i'm teaching i make uh, stitches little bit too quickly so maybe there is there are, maybe there are some confusions but i will try my level best to help you guys uh so let's get started and once again happy crocheting the starting point of the beanie is here on the bottom for that what we are going to do is we are going to start with the basic chains and the multiple stitches are going to be two you can make as many as chains as you want to which can be divided by two so i will just simply start making simple chains basic chains if i can zoom it and uh, one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I will make rest of the chains off camera for the length. Uh, sorry, for the width of the beanie I want, I'm going to make chain sixty-six. You can make as many chains as you want to, which can be divided by two. so i have made chains and now what i will do is that i will slip stitch carefully into the first chain so that i don't twist the chains i have made and then make chain 3 and chain 3 is in this round does not count as our first double crochet i will make one Two, three chains, and I will make one double crochet into the same chain where we have made chain three, and one double crochet into each and every chain.
like that i will make rest of the uh, double crochets of camera simply make one double crochet in each and every chain slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is this one we are going to skip this starting chain three because as i said it does not count as our first double crochet so slip stitch on the top of first double crochet and then make chain three one two three again this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet convert our uh, starting chain from the last round and first double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into next double crochet front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one front post double crochet into the next back post into into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end i am at the end of this round what i will do now is that i will skip again the starting chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet which is this one chain three one two three and make uh, convert this uh, chain three and first front post double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into next back post double crochet front post double crochet into next front post double crochet back post double crochet into next back post double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make front post double crochet into all front post double crochets back post double crochet into all back post double crochets all the way to the end here and then we will skip this starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet and we will repeat this round once more and then i will resume the video we will have total four rounds on the ribbing we have already made two we are working on third one and third one and then i will repeat this one once more and then i will resume the video again i am almost done with the ribbing I have repeated it for four times you can repeat it as many times as you want to and then slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet we are going to skip once again our starting chain three because it does not count as our first double crochet so now our ribbing is done we are going to work on our uh, upper part of our beanie or rest of our beanie so at this point you can do the measuring if uh, the size is the what you call it uh, if it's the size you want to this is the time you can again you can measure it and then if you think that it has to be made a little bit bigger then you can maybe restart and make some more rounds but i have the width of the beanie i want it it's best for that so i will not do anything else what i will do now is that we will start working on rest of the beanie ribbing of the beanie is done not now what i am going to do is we are going to work on our pattern on these rounds for that what i'm going to do is i am going to make chain four one two three and four and what I am going to do is I'm going to make a double clo crochet cluster into these three stitches. Wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert your crochet hook into the same uh, stitch where we have just slip stitched and made chain four. You have three 
loops on your crochet hook pull through first two loops and then wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert into the next stitch pull up a loop and pull through first two loops and then again into the next one around, uh, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert into, insert the crochet hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop you have four loops on your crochet hook what you are going to do you are going to pull through first three loops you have two loops left on your crochet hook pull through those two as well now what i am going to do is i am going to wrap the uh, yarn around your uh, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook there is just one thing i wanted to tell that this starting chain 4 does not count as stitch i made this this uh, chain 4 to just come a little bit up what i am going to do now is wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert the crochet into this uh, gap grab the yarn and pull up a loop we are going to make bead stitch here do that four times one two three and four pull through all of those loops and first section of the uh, what you call it pattern is done here and now we will what we will do is wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and this is where we made our last double crochet after these three double crochets i'm going to insert the crochet hook into that where we have already made a double crochet pull up a loop and pull through first two loops wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and do that into the next stitch and pull up a loop wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and do that into the next stitch as well and pull through first two loops you should end up with four loops on your crochet hook pull through first three loops and then two loops and again wrap the yarn <coughs> excuse me. wrap the yarn on your crochet hook and then insert your cro uh, crochet hook into this gap just before this th the three double crochet cluster there is this gap you we are going to insert the crochet hook into that grab the yarn and pull up a loop once twice thrice and fourth time pull through all of those loops so we have completed the pattern twice this section of the pattern twice i will show you guys once more slowly <clears throat> this is where we made our last uh, double crochet of the uh, cluster uh, three double crochet i am going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and insert into that where we have already made one double crochet pull through first two loops wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and do the same into next three stitches and again into the next one pull through first two loops you have four loops on your crochet hook pull through first three loops and then two loops wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert your crochet hook into this gap just before the cluster st uh, stitch one two three and four and pull through all of those loops i will show you guys one last time and then i will do rest of the round off camera this is the last double crochet of the set of these three double crochets i'm going to insert into that pull up a loop and pull through first two loops i'm going to do that into next two stitches as well and once again 
like that I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and now we are going to make a bead stitch around the post of that cluster uh, stitch wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert into that gap pull up a yarn pull uh, grab the yarn and pull up a loop one two three and four and then pull through all of those loops this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make three double crochet cluster into next three stitches the first one will be this one where we have already made last double crochet of the set of these three double crochets into this stitch and into next two stitches you should end up with four loops on your crochet hook pull through three, uh, first three loops and then two loops and then make a bead stitch into this gap repeat this pattern all the way to the end here and then I will resume the video again after repeating the pattern for the last time you should end up with one uh, stitch unworked and now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat the same pattern by starting uh, making uh, three double crochet cluster into next three stitches I will do into the first one this is this is where we made the last double crochet of our these uh, set of uh, these three double crochet pull up a loop and pull through first two loops and do the same into the next stitch and then the last one we are going to make is this is the first um, uh, stitch of the last round this is where we made our first double crochet we are not going to include this uh, starting chain 4 into this stitch where we have made our first double crochet I am going to place my unworked last double crochet pull through first two loops I have four loops left on my crochet hook I will pull through first two loops and then two loops and then I will make my bead stitch into this gap one two three and four pull through all of these loops now I'm going to push these loops of the bead stitch a little bit down so that I, I can see the this is the top of the first uh, top of the first double crochet that I have made this one I am going to me I'm going to slip stitch on the top of that like that and our first round is complete now I made 66 uh, chains here if you guys remember so um, I, I ended up with 33 of these uh, what you call it uh, stitches these uh, bead stitches or whatever you can call them now the next round the next round is single crochet round what I am going to do is I'm going to make chain one and then I will make one single crochet into each and every stitch one single crochet into the same stitch where I have made just made chain one and one single crochet here into the next one this is the top of the uh, what you call it uh, uh, bead stitch and again this simply what I'm going to do is there are these tops of the uh, what you call it stitches I'm going to make one single crochet into that in a nutshell you should end up with two single crochet into each of this section on the top of this section you are going to make uh, uh, two single crochets into two different uh, separate uh, stitches the next one is this one so I'm going to make a single crochet into that next one is this one one single crochet into that if you guys look closely there is this uh, top of the stitch and then there is this top of the stitch into this section and then we, if we go to the next section again there are top of 
there are two tops this one and this one it's a little bit tricky to to what you call it explain and show in the video but when you will be working on this uh, round you will understand what i'm what i mean simply one single crochet on the top of each and every single crochet which means into all of these small sections you should end up with two single crochet like I made 66 stitches when I started this beanie at the end of this round as well I should end up with 66 stitches we had there we had 66 we had 66 stitches here and then here we had 33 um, what you call it uh, sections of these uh, stitches or these patterns and then again at the end of this round you we should end up with 66 single crochet because we are going to make one double uh, single crochet into each and every stitch like that just repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again i am at the end of this round what i did was which i forgot to explain that i made a single crochet on the top of the cluster uh, three double uh, the top of the cluster stitch and one single crochet on the top of this bead stitch now what i am going to do is i am going to slip stitch into the first single crochet and then i will make chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 and i will repeat this round once again this is the first available stitch and i will wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and insert the crochet hook into that pull up a loop and pull through first loop do that into next two uh, stitches as well i have three uh, four loops on my crochet hook i will pull through first two loops and then two loops this is the top of the uh, cluster stitch in this one we are going to make one single crochet and then we will make a bead stitch one two three and four and pull through all of those loops and then we are going to on the top of this bead stitch as well which is this one we are going to make a single crochet this is how that's how we are going to end up with two single crochet one single crochet on the top of this cluster stitch and one single crochet on the top of bead stitch again repeat i'm not going to show you guys again because uh, the length of the video will be too long so that's why i'm going to skip just repeat last two rounds as many times as you want to in this one in this beanie i repeated it for three times until here and then I started my what you call it uh, decreasing rounds so I'm going to repeat last two rounds as many times as I need to until the length of the beanie is uh, there is approximately three inches left to the length of the beanie because this is where I stopped uh, uh, because this is where i started decreasing rounds and it's approximately three inches so i'm going to repeat these two rounds and then i will res uh, resume the video when i'm going to work on my decreasing rounds so i have repeated these two rounds this one and this one this bead round and the single crochet round three times and now what we are going to do is that we are going to start decreasing rounds for that what i am going to do i have already made chain four 
which we do when we are working on our uh, what you call it uh, uh, bead stitch round and now what I will do is that I will make a double crochet cluster in these three stitches pull through first two loops and then go into the next stitch and pull through first two loops and then into the next one I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops what I'm going to do now is that I will make a bead stitch into this as before by wrapping the yarn and pulling up a loop one two three and four times and then pulling through all of those loops now what I'm going to do before here we used to make our uh, or we used to start our next uh, three double crochet cluster from this stitch but now we are not going to do that we will go direct into next available uh, stitch and we will make three double crochet cluster into next three stitches two and three and then I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and again into this gap I will work a bead stitch one two three and four and pull through all of these loops and now what I will do again is that I will not make my first double crochet of the three double crochet cluster into this stitch I will go directly into the next one I will not going to make any stitches in this one I will go directly into next available stitch and work unfinished double crochet and then into the next one and then next one pull through first two loops I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and now I will make a again a bead stitch around the post of that cluster one two three and four and then pull through all of them And now again I will repeat this pattern by not making any stitch into this stitch which is this is where I made last double crochet of the set of three double crochets I will go directly into the next one and I will make the three double crochet cluster into next three stitches like that I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and now again I will make bead stitch around the post of around the post of that cluster stitch like that one two three and four and I will pull through all of them this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end we will make one uh, sorry three double crochet cluster into next three stitches and then I will make bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch we are um, decreasing one uh, stitch into each of this uh, section we are going to decrease one stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch on the top of cluster stitch if you press these loops of the bead stitch a little bit down you can see the top of the cluster stitch I'm going to slip stitch into that and then I will make chain one and I'm going to repeat this round which is that simply I will make one single crochet on the top of 
uh, uh, what you call it uh, cluster stitch and on the top of bead stitch you are going to end up with two single crochet into each of these small sections <coughs> single crochet on the top of cluster stitch and single crochet on the top of bead stitch all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and I will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and I will make one two three four chains and I'm going to repeat this round not this round I'm going to repeat this round by making a three double crochet cluster on the top of first three stitches I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and then on the um, around the post of that uh, cluster stitch I'm going to make one two three and four I'm going to make a bead stitch and now I will make uh, again one uh, three, dou uh, three double crochet cluster into next three stitches I'm not going to make any stitch into this stitch because we have already made one stitch and we are going to make a decrease whenever we are making this small section we are decreasing one stitch pull through first three loops and then two loops and then I will make bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch like that repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one uh, cluster three double crochet cluster around the on into next three stitches and then a bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch i will show you guys once once more i'm not making any stitches into that i'm going directly into next stitch and then I will make three double crochet cluster or three double crochet together pulling through first three loops and then two loops and then making a bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am going to slip stitch on the top of our first cluster stitch and then I will repeat this round which is single crochet round by making chain one and making one single crochet on the top of cluster stitch and one single crochet on the top of our bead stitch all the way to the end as I said earlier that you are going to end up with two single crochet into this small section. slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then I'm going to repeat this round once again by making one two three four chains and then making three double crochet to uh, together or three double crochet cluster one two three I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and then I'm going to make a bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch two three and four pull through all of them now I'm going to direct into first available stitch and I will make three double crochet cluster into next three stitches one two and three I have four loops on my crochet hook I will pull through first three loops and then two loops and I will make a bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch one two three and four and pull through all of those loops repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one um, sorry three double crochet cluster into next three stitches by skipping this stitch we are not going to make any stitch into that but into next three stitches we are going to make a three, uh, double crochet cluster and then I will make bead stitch around the post of that cluster stitch all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first uh, double crochet or top of the double crochet cluster 
and then make chain one and now what we are going to do is we are going to make single crochet round but we are going to make decreasing by making single crochet two together like that and then into the next one and then pull through three loops again we will make single crochet two to together on the top of our next uh, uh, what you call it top of the uh, um, cluster stitch and top of the bead stitch we are going to make decreasing again we will make single crochet two together onto next two stitches repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making single crochet two together on the top of our cluster stitch and on the top of our bead stitch all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then now I will cut the yarn if I can find the scissor cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn because we are going to do some sewing we are going to close this hole insert this insert this tail of the yarn inside the beanie turn it inside out and now we are going to simply close this hole thread the needle with the yarn and now it's very easy and simple we are simply going to do some zigzag stitches on the top of each and every single crochet to close it yes it's ice cream machine <laughs> it's homemade uh, danish ice cream ma uh, machine and um, if i was not making the video i might have run to <laughs> to get some ice cream but i can't so i'm here so pull it snug tight and then just make some random knots to secure the end of the yarn and now hide the end of the yarn and that's it so now our beanie is done it's complete now and this is how it looks when it's done and uh, once again i would say that i have tried my level best to explain the pattern in as much de detail as i could uh, but st still if there is anything that is confusing or if there is anything that you guys did not understand please comment below and i will try my level best to help you guys thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all and happy crocheting